Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial session. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a multilingual WordPress website. So to make this possible on our website, to have multiple languages on our website, we are going to be using a tool called Wiglot. So um, let's get started. They have different plans and they have a free plan. So for the free plan, you just have one translated language and 2000 words. And that means you can only translate just one language. So you have your base language, let's say English. Then if you want to translate to any other language, you have to, you just have access to just one. So let's say if you want to do French or German, um, the German language. So if you want more than that, you can subscribe to the, uh, to any of their plans, which is amazing. So let's get started. So to get started, we click on try for free at the top. Can you see it? Click on that. So enter on the right hand side, enter your email address. I'll do that here, my password. Re-enter my password. Click on sign up. So they will send an email, they will send an email to you. So let me just confirm my mail. Go to my inbox. Click on confirm my mail. Here, yeah, can you see it? Let's wait for it to confirm our mail. So perfect. So it's going to take you through an onboarding process. So just um, let's follow the process. So the project name. So the name of my website is The Rural Child. As you can see it's here, The Rural Child. So you can put the name of your own website. Um, website technology. So for me, I'm going to be using WordPress. So click on Next. Now, the next thing is, it's going to give us an API key that we have to add into our WordPress website. Um, and to do that, we'll go back to our WordPress dashboard where you must have logged in into WordPress to do this. So just follow along, right? So you go to plugins, click on add new. So we'll be adding the Wiglot WordPress plugin. Search for it. Can you see it? Wiglot Translate. Click on Install Now. Click on Activate. All right. So the next thing is for us to go to the left-hand side of the dashboard below the settings. You can see mine here, Wiglot. Click on it. All right. So you scroll down. Now you're going to go back to our where we stopped at the Wiglot website, copy the API code, come back to your WordPress dashboard to the Wiglot settings, paste the API key here. Then once you're done, select your original language. So for me, my base language is going to be English. You can select Spanish, you can select Danish. So for me, mine will be English. Then destination, destination languages. So for me, since I'm using the free plan, I'm just going to select one, which is French. So you can select multiple language all the multiple languages you want to add to the website. All right, so once I'm done, I'm going to click on Save Changes. Let's wait for it. All right, so basically, we are done. Um, we're done. We've added uh, a multilingual feature to our website. So I'm going to show you where we're done, right? Let's go to my website homepage. So if you notice on the right hand side, yeah, can you see it below, below on the right hand side, below, um, towards the ending of the page, you see it. Can you see it? You see English you can change this to, to French. Can you see, you can see now all our text, all our wordings have been, um, changed to the French language. Can you see? So we can change it back to English. We go back here, English. All right. So I know the next question you're going to ask me is, how can I add this to my header? I can now add, change the position of um, the widget. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go back to the Wiglot um, settings, right? So once you're done, you notice that there are more settings. Once you've um, enabled or added the API key, you notice that there are more settings. So if you scroll down, 
you see the language button design. So this is where we customize the widget. So you can check the button preview. Can you see this is what we have here? Um, you can see the button preview, sorry. Do you want it to be dropped down? Yes, I won't mind. Do you want it to have the flags? Yes. Type of flags, do you want it to be rectangular? Do you want it to be shiny? You'll be able to see all the preview here. Can you see it? So what you're selecting here, you see the preview. So can you see it? All right, so I think I like the circle with the name, yes. Full name, yes. So this is where you can add CSS code. You can change the background of the button. You can change it to um, like a dark color and change the text to white. So I'm not going to go into that. Um, so if you scroll down, go to language button position. This is where we changed um, the position of um, the language button um, widget. All right, so you can use the switcher editor and you can add it to your menu. Now to add it to menu, um, you go to appearance. Let's do that. Appearance, let's go to menus. We scroll down. So let's we want to add it to our main menu, right? So you scroll down. So on the on the left hand side, where you see under the add menu items, if you scroll down, the last option we have here is Wiglot um, switcher. So you can just click on it, click on um, enable this, click on add to menu. Can you see it has added the Wiglot switcher to our menu? So let's click on save menu. So let's check our website. You can see we have the switch has been added to our menu. Now you can always increase the width of your menu so that it accommodates all the menu options. So yeah, you can see it. We can change this to French to French. All right, you can see. Perfect. One thing you notice is once once we add it to the menu, you will no longer see the other widget on the right hand side. Okay, you see it's, it's gone. So which is okay. So that's how to add it to your menu. So let me delete this. Let me save. All right. So let me go back to my settings. So you can add it as a menu. You can place the, the button as a widget. You can place the button in a widget area. So if you want to add it to your sidebar, you can add it as a widget. So the next important one I want to show you is how to add it to as a short code. Let's say you just want to place it on anywhere in your website. So for me, I'm using Astra WordPress team. So let's say I want to create a top bar where I can add the switcher to. So and to do that, let me just click on customize. So I'm going to be using the Astra Other Builder. So I'll click on customize. All right, let me go to my Other Builder. So I'll click on add. This is where I can add the, the, the short code. Click on HTML. So let me just add the short code. Let me come back here. This is our short code. Copy it, then paste it here. So once I click on publish and I cancel this, You can see we have the widget on our top bar. Can you see it? Amazing. Amazing. So you can play around with the other options. They're quite straightforward. So basically, that's how to add or enable a multilingual feature on your WordPress website. I hope this video was helpful. If you love this video and want more videos like this, you can subscribe to, our, to the channel. And don't forget to, to hit the like button. Thanks for watching.